everybody, what is up? My name is Astrocat and welcome back to Portal 2. I just got finished recording Your Turn to Die, which went um extremely well. So if I look off or sound off, that's probably why. Now before we start today, somebody recommended when I started chapter 6 to check out the extras menu. Um, I'm not entirely- I don't remember what exactly they said. Checking out the extras menu when you start chapter 6 says some cool lore that isn't a spoiler. So I thought we would just go through that really quick. Uh, perpetual testing initiative. Oh! Cave Johnson here. Every time I look at our test chamber production line, I am reminded of my father. Now, he wasn't a scientist, just a simple farmer, a uh -huh. professor of farming at the local farm college. Never farmed a day in his life. But his theories on farming are the backbone of this company. Do it from scratch. Spare no expense. And never cut corners. Well, that's a corner-cutting machine. We obviously cut them there. Point is, we've always done things the way my father did. And his father before him, and his father before him, and his father before him. And we are almost bankrupt. So, time for a cheaper approach. Allow me to introduce the multiverse. Infinite Earth with an infinite number of apertures. And as of now, they are going to take over all test chamber construction. And more importantly, all paying for test chamber construction. Why are they agreeing to do that? They're not. We're tricking them. Here's how it works. One, design a test. Two, slip uh -huh. the mole monsters or what have you the blueprint when they're not looking. Three, once they build it, steal it back. Look at that sad little octopus. <laughs> That's where you come in. We need blueprints. We are about to run the greatest con game in the history of the multiverse, and you are the bottom. Uh -huh. Yes, you. Get back to work. Interesting. Okay, meet the bots. These next tests require cooperation. Whoa! Consequently, they have never been solved by a human. That's where you come in. You don't know pride. You don't know fear. You don't know anything. You'll be perfect. This is so cool. What? Property testing initiative. Oh, is this for like the co-op mode? Chamber completed. Continue testing. Interesting. So it's like you get double the portals, it looks like? Continue testing. <laughs> Continue testing. Oh my god, this looks really cool. The quality of this is insanely amazing. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership. Now it's time for your real purpose. Concern? Oh goodness, this part looks not so great. Don't disappoint me. Or I'll make you wish you could die. Okay, that's neat. What teaser video? Okay. What is this teaser for? Was this a teaser for this game? This is so cool looking. It's been a long time. How have you been? Oh, this must have been so exciting. Interesting. Ooh. 
think we can put our differences behind us. Oh, that's so Besides, cool. You monster. Oh, I bet that was really exciting. I have no idea. I mean, like, I know that Portal has a huge reputation, but, like, did that come after the second game, or did it have a huge reputation from the first game? And that, because if so, like, I'm sure, if it did, I'm sure people were absolutely thrilled about this. But trust. Cave Johnson here. Fact. Hello. The key to any successful cooperative test is trust. And as our data clearly shows, humans cannot be trusted. The solution? Robots. Then fire the guys who made those robots and build better robots. <laughs> then run those robots through a regimen of trust exercises, creating a foundation of mutual respect, oh. reinforced by the simulated bonds of artificial friendship. Inspiring stuff. And finally, we put that trust to the test. Bam! Robots gave us six extra seconds of cooperation. Nice! Job, robots. Gave Johnson, we're done here. Fantastic. Okay, so it is. I realized, um, so I said I have no experience with Portal, and I realized that is actually not true. Uh, there was one day in, like, middle school, I think, where my teacher just straight up did not plan anything for class. And so there was an Xbox in the room, and we were just told we could play video games for the whole class period. And I remember there were, like, two guys who started playing, uh, who started playing a game with portals. Um, and that was the extent of my portal knowledge. So I'm assuming that was, like, the co-op stuff, and I remember none of it. I just remember there being an orange portal and a blue portal. Panels. Cave Johnson here. Hello. This is a test chamber. Four walls, ceiling, and a floor. Good enough for science. Not aperture science. Gentlemen, I give you panels. The planks of tomorrow. Fully configurable. Infinitely variable. Uh. Safe. Aperture brand panels will assist your test subjects every step of the way. Yikes. That is Ouch. A That's a crusher. We sell them too. Great. Cool. I am liking this Cave Johnson less and less. Turrets. Cave Johnson here, introducing the consumer version of our most popular military-grade product. Hi, hello. Hello. The turret. How do we get so many bullets in them? Like this. Plus, we fire the whole bullet. That's 65% more bullet per bullet. This is the same technology we've been using on robots for decades. <laughs> Scares the hell out of them. Yeah. They come in hundreds of designer colors, including forest, desert, table, uh, evening at the improv. What idiot picked these? Then we box them up and ship them straight to your doorstep so you can protect the things that matter most. Good night. Just try and get close to that baby. <laughs> your funeral. Gabe Johnson, we're done here. That would be ter why would you do that boots oh is this how the how the how the shoes work how Hello, we don't investors. take full damage Dave johnson here now i know you've sunk a lot of money into the dual portal device but i'm here to tell you we're not banging rocks together over here Thank we you. know how to make a quantum space hole huh. carolyn see portal here portal there <laughs> look at this thing go now we have run into a reproducible human error problem a lot of expensive equipment getting broken. But don't worry, Cave took care of it. Gentlemen, I give you the long fall boot. Think of it as a foot-based suit of armor for the portal device. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's expensive as hell. Whoa. But check this out. We told this test subject to just go ahead and try to land on her head. Oh my god, wow! <laughs> she can't do it. Good work, Boots. So anyway, we're between banks right now. Just make those checks out to cash. Cave Johnson, we're done here. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, the animation is really neat. I'm a big fan of that. Portal 2 comic. Oh, good lord. Ooh, I actually, I would like to read this. Reality is, is a story the mind tells itself. An artificial structure conjured into being by the calcium ion exchange of a million synaptic firings. A truth so strange it could only be lied into existence. Hear the turret, for it is... Okay. And our minds can lie, never doubt it. Interesting. Okay. What's this? Real or just my lying mind again? Can she truly be awake after all this time? No, just a figment. If she were real, the turrets would see her too. The end is finally upon us. For the end times. Oh, companion cube. Okay. Please try to understand. We put cameras in the cameras. He'll never suspect. The cube root of 2x is irrational if x is irrational. 
Medicine, prescription, dog. Come on, you don't need those anymore. You're fine. It's been so long I've been saving these two for the last day. I'm going to need a clear head for what is to come. Ugh. This will be the end of us. There are moments when I can almost see the underlying grammar of this place. An impossibility, some mad architect's opus, a relic from an age that never could have been. It's a metacized amalgam of add-ons, additions, and appropriations, building itself out of itself. Beautiful and terrible. And like anything cloned from a cancer cell, probably immortal. Stay to the right, turrets ahead on your left. Whatever you say. Another mural to mark the occasion. Oh, so this is who was paint who painted the murals? There's a girl now on her way to the final chamber. You mean with her? With uh, GLaDOS? Gla Glad GLaDOS? I don't actually know how to say it. Huh. She doesn't have a chance. Chell? Surname redacted. Oh, she has more of a chance than you think. Art therapy. The Bennett way. Essay question 1A. Why should Aperture Science accept you as a research volunteer, and would anyone else file a police report if you went missing? Or would anyone file a police report if you went missing? Ooh, okay. Um... Oh, where's my phone? Zero one one zero 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 one one. Okay, the cake, it looks like this is gonna be- I think I made an error somewhere because it, I got it translated to the cake as a lie. I'm assuming it's supposed to be the cake as a lie. That's interesting. Who's that? You okay? The room shook itself to pieces like an unbalanced centrifuge or an explosion. What could that mean? Only one thing it can mean. She did it. It's over. The ultimate systems crash. It's been a hell of a morning. You missed all the fun. We had to hit the kill switch again. Henry, you have a strange idea of fun. In case of okay, I dial EXD 290. Hey, we're lucky to be working on this. You got a strange idea of luck, too. Think about it. Every new generation gets some new frontier to tackle. Einstein got relativity. The NASA Cowboys got the moon. All the easy stuff is taken. I mean, look around you. We're, being, we're on the bleeding edge here. Artificial consciousness is the new frontier. But every time we turn it on, it takes a sixteenth of a picosecond before it tries to kill us. Last time it was a tenth of a picosecond. See, we're making progress. I'm telling you, this is our next generation's moonshot. Keep Johnson here. You lab boys, quit your yapping and get back to work. It's been a pre-recorded message. I'd rather have gone to the moon. Whew. Where's the girl? She didn't stay to check out her handiwork? She must have gotten out, probably on the surface, soaking up some sun. I'm sure you're right. What is this sun of which you speak? She has the right idea. Come on, we're wasting daylight. Watch out for the turrets. The queen may be dead, but this hornet's nest has been kicked. Freedom. My eyes, my eyes. Shh, I hear something. Quick, get down before it sees you. Oh, there she is. It's dragging her back inside. It's not wheelie, is it? Doug, can I get a hand here? Sure. Reach inside, pass all those gears, and turn on the supply power. Wait a sec, safety first. You left- right-handed or left? Right. Better use the left than why? Just in case. What is that thing, anyway? Just the latest inhibition- AI inhibition technology. You can think of it as a conscience. If that's all you use to control her, it won't be enough. Why's that? You can always ignore your conscience. You don't have to go back in there. Can't just walk away. You're right. Walking is too slow. Run away. Running is what I've been doing. Running and hiding. That's why you're still alive. You're not a hero. Heroes die. You don't understand. It's my fault she's down there not leaving her. I would have been trapped forever if not for her. Listen, it's too dangerous. You're going to get killed. So be it. But I'm done running. I have to at least try to save her. You really are crazy. To be continued. I'm not feeling so good. Those pills I took. I think the medicine's starting to work. Soon you won't need me anymore. I'll always need you. I don't think you will. No. Card suspension bar process is both safe and fun. Legality test subjects who fail to wake from long cryo or have dead. No. They're already put- They've already put her in long-term relaxation. I need to get up to cryo control, but turrets block the way. Her cryo chamber, something's wrong. Life support has been compromised. The explosion blew the main grid. Her chamber is offline. All the cryo chambers are offline. Only gonna get one chance. I have to cross the room, get past the turret, stump the rail, and dive left or avoid or right to avoid being shot. Okay, do I dive left or right? Hello? You still back there? Left or right, don't make me guess. I'm running out of time. Well, ready or not. Must stay conscious. The Enrichment Center would like to announce a new employee and initiative of forced voluntary participation. If any Aperture Science employee would like to opt out into this new voluntary testing program, please remember science rhymes with compliance. Do you know what doesn't rhyme with compliance? Neurotoxin. Due to high mortality rates, you may be reluctant to participate in the new initiative. The Enrichment Center ensures you that it's a strictly selfish impulse on your part. And why can't you love science like insert co-worker's name here? And now there's just you. All the others are dead. You've avoided capture for weeks. What makes you so different? Delusions of persecution, pathological paranoia. It's all right here in your file. Have you refiled your prescription lately? 
might be. Schizophrenia is, is a culturally bound phenomenon. It's a pattern of express. Its pattern of expression is filtered through the cultural substrate in which symptoms develop. In technological societies, this manifests as delusions of surveillance and a belief that advanced technology is deployed against you, usually with some vague unseen other out to try and get you. You're not vague, you're pretty damn specific. If you continue to selfishly evade me, it's not going to reflect well on your file. Of course, the files. I can't see you, but I know you're in there. It's just a coincidence that you've been diagnosed with schizophrenia and now believe a homicidal computer is out to get you? Or is it just coincidence? Come on, how likely is that? I mean, really, you're a scientist. What's more likely, that you're being chased by a homicidal computer or that this is all just the paranoid delusion of an unstable mind? Why not come out of there and you'll see none of this is real? I'd ask you to think outside the box, but it's obvious your box is broken and has schizophrenia. Speaking of boxes, did you know the, that thought experiment with the cat in the box with the poison? Theory requires that the cat be both alive and dead until observed. Well, I actually performed the experiment dozens of times. Bad news is that reality doesn't exist. The good news is that we have a new cat graveyard. Jesus. Why are you in the file room anyway? What could you possibly be doing? Is this the one? In the event that you don't survive the testing process, your DNA may be harvested from your body with your consent and used to create clones and... The furtherance of science. Failure to survive the testing process shall be viewed as granting consent. Also, clones don't have souls, just so you know, like twins. It has to be her. Shell. Shell redacted. Okay. Saving file. Since the installation of my new morality core, I've lost all interest in killing. Now I only crave science. Pleased to hear that. I find myself drawn to the study of consciousness through the experiment I like to perform during Bring Your Cat to Work Day. Wonderful. Of the box and cats. Now I just need one more thing. What's that? A little neurotoxin. Well, as long as it's for science. Clearly that morality cord didn't work so well. How long have I been out? Long enough. You're back. I never left you. There's something I wanted to ask. How did you know about the girl? Know what? She was the one. Something in her file. She had the highest IQ? No, somewhere higher. Is she the most athletic? No, nothing like that. Then what? A hunch. You still might be able to save her. What? How? I can't get to her cryo chamber. You can't free her, but you might save her. You can patch her cryo unit into the reserve grid. You can reset and f the fuses and restart her life support. If it's not too late already. But even if it works, there'll be no wake-up date. She'll be in there indefinitely. So it's the long sleep? Or the long sleep? I don't know which is worse. Forgive me. It worked. Sleep well. Both alive and dead until someone opens the box. Maybe it's time I slept too. I'm so tired now. Trying to rest. See, I always told you I would always need you. Shell. Tenacity level. Rejected, do not test. Interesting. Okay. That was cool. Super 8. Interactive teaser. Okay. Oh, we're outside. I'll have to think on that a lot, because to be honest, I don't really know what to say about that for now. Oh, okay. Copy. Hello? Aerial photo rig, okay. Uh. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Protocol. Okay. What's this? Large impact. Okay. That's a... Uh... Gross. I don't like how spooky this is. At all. Okay! Okay. Mm I would like to go back to safety, please. Okay! Cause that exploded. Mm hmm Yeah. That's great. Okay. Okay. That was nice.
Okay. Super eight. Okay. Is that another game? I don't know what that was. Well, that was cool. Um, yeah, glad we took a look at that. I'll have to really think about the comic was very cool. I'm definitely glad I read that. Y'all will have to obviously give me your non-spoiler uh, thoughts on it as well. Because I feel like I have a lot to think about in regards to that. But it gives us a little more insight into the character we're currently playing, which I always think is cool. So that's kind of how we ended up where we are. You're here. Okay. Gel flow. We're following the gel flow, are we? Remember, uh, this test isn't solvable without an Aperture Science portable quantum tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 9 enrichment activities. Okay. Holgen gel. Was Aperture's first attempt to create a diet dietetic pudding substitute? D or did you know repulsion gel? It's true. The gel is sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulin that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out of her mouth for his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Horrible. I hate it. Do we have to go in? Oh my god, that's really fun. Okay. What's this? Okay. Can we go up there? Okay, we can. Alright. Um. Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Whoa, bam. Well, bam. This looks like old. So is this like an old testing chamber? The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. Okay. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Fair. Enough, I guess. Who am I to tell you what you can and can't do? Make sure chamber this way. Okay. Um... Oh, here we go. Cool. Wait, which way? Huh, interesting. Alright, we're gonna go this way then. Uh, here. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. That's horrible. Don't do that. Think we can make it over here? Cool. Oh. Hmm. This is just the beginning. Okay, we'll go over here. Here's this button. Hmm. How do we get over here? Oh, here. Okay. Right. Cool. Move this one down a little bit. Wabam! We will take this over here. Woo! Oh, this this gel is fun. Woo! I love bouncing. Hold to prevent bouncing. No. Good to know, though. Three, we go. Alright, now where... How do we get out? There. Okay. How do we get enough momentum? There. I know! You told me that already. Ah, so close. There we go. Alright. Okay, so we gotta go up there. What? Oh! Oh, that's weird. Oh, we're moving, though. Moving and grooving. Okay. Do we gotta go back with it? 
Well, ain't this fun? Okay. Great. Now what? Um. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. I feel like that advice would have been useful before, but obviously you guys aren't very good at your jobs. So, um, can't say I'm all that surprised. All right. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's not part of the test. Got it. Asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Oh, mm-hmm. That's, that is pleasant. Truly. Okay, um, exit? Have we been up here already? I don't remember where we've been. Oh, here. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I could fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. That's messed up. Gel blob. Oh, okay. Oh, here, here, here. There. Hmm. We also we also need to get up there. Should we put some there? So I don't think that's gonna get us high enough. And jumping through here isn't gonna work, is it? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Okay, um, what about over there? Oh wait, no, that's the way we came in, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, wait, here, 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 here. There we go. Cool. Okay. Um, I feel like we're gonna need some over there. Okay, and then... Oh, come on. Yes. Okay. Cool. Got it. Hmm. Oh, okay. And we wanted to do that. Why? Whoa, wait, 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 maybe we should just in case. Why did we do that? I really don't know why we would have done that. Okay. Um, oh wait, what if we... Okay, that worked. 
Master the repulsion gel. Uh-huh. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Great. These people just really give me the biggest vote of confidence ever. Okay. 1958 27 because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay, what is this? Whoa. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Maybe. Here? Whoa, okay. There we go. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, uh, the future test may involve you trust what you with this test, don't listen. So, okay. Of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Okay. So then if we go into there, bounce off there, we should be good? We get into there via going... Here. Here. And then we need to do blue. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So if we go here. Hmm. Maybe if we... No, oh, we can't get gel over there, though. Hmm. Um... Can I go... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. And go there. There. Here. There. There. Okay. Accidents hurt you, will be hurt, co-workers, don't endanger others, the company, uh, replacements are costly, science investigation impedes progress, safety first. Okay. Where am I trying to go? Up there, maybe? Okay. So maybe I can put this away. And then... Here. 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 There. Here. Okay. Great. There. There we go. Okay, now it's bouncing, so we need to wash it off. Get over here. Okay. Cool. And then we put it on the button. Okay. 
And then we go here. There. Here. There. Here. There. Okay. Um. And then we miss completely. There we go. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out? Because you are fired. Now you test subject. You're doing fine. Yes. Thanks. I don't Locked. like you. Stop. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Good. If you let them get out. I'd rather get out. I don't like it here. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. Mm -hmm. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. I don't want to be here for another round of tests. Until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. For your participation. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. Mm. She is a gem. Okay. How do I get out? I want out. I don't want to be here. Okay. Over there? I suppose. Nothing over this way. Okay. Alright. Interesting. How do we get up there? Oh, there. Okay. Wabam. And then... We have to go all the way up there via, I'm assuming, here. There. Okay. <laughs> nope. Okay. Here. Here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a portal over here. Oh, wait, maybe we have to try and make it through this one. Ah! So close. There's gotta be something else I'm missing. Oh, here. Oh, okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. So we need to go up here. there then oh wait 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 here 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 okay there 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 no here there when we're up through there we'll shoot the blue portal there there we go that should work okay figured it out all right uh pop station beta Phone. Interesting. Jump pressure control. Not sure if hitting those was what I was supposed to do, but we did it. Okay. Hmm. Greetings, friend. I'm Kay Hi. Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital She's participant in the 1968 Senate hearings mm -hmm. on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Okay. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt. Sir, the testing. Right. Right. Now you might be okay. asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me no. answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make sixty dollars cash? You can also feel free to relax for up to twenty minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best. And you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Mm -hmm. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Alright. And I'm quickly going to save just because I am really, 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 really hot right now. Um... <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. All right, and I'm sorry we didn't get as much done in this episode because I did, I wanted to look at all the extras and then I was gonna play for longer, but it is so hot in here right now that I just, I need to stop recording for a little bit so that I can not 
be extremely dizzy. But this is really interesting. I feel like I have a lot of things to think about. Uh, I feel like this is gonna about to get really, like it is really good. I feel like it's about to get even better and I cannot wait for that. So if you guys would like to talk to me about this game or any of the other games I play, please feel free to join the Discord linked in the description of this video or on the about page of my channel. I would love to get to know you, get to talk about these games, get to hear your thoughts even more in depth than I can in the comments. So without further ado, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.